Hey guys, what's up? Jedi here, and in this video, I'm gonna give you guys some last minute FNCS tips. So yeah, if you're watching this, FNCS is probably in a few hours, and if it's already happened because you're in OCE, Asia, or Middle East, then this video is perfect for round two. I mean, your first rounds are pretty much free anyway, so they don't really count. Anyways, go follow me on TikTok at Jedi2x because I'll be posting there daily, and let's get into this video. This first tip is definitely going to help you with FNCS, but it applies to any game mode in any tournament. When you're boxed below someone, whether it's in mid game or end game, you might want to try and replace their floors to drop them down and get a refresh. If you've tried this before, go ahead and leave a like on this video, and honestly guys, I expect as many likes as views because I know every single competitive player has tried this at some point. What I've noticed about this drop down play though is that some pros actually do it differently. So the normal tactic is to replace the floor, replace the cone, and then edit and try and drop them down. This is pretty effective, but sometimes you just can't hit that cone edit properly so they don't fall down and you lose the refresh. So, what some pros do instead is they try to replace the cone with a ramp. If the opponent's not standing up against a close wall, this will not only drop them down 100% of the time, but it will drop them faster and give you a bigger advantage. Just make sure you reset the floor above to stop their teammates from shooting you. These next few tips are more specific to things I've spotted in the past 2 weeks of FNCS, and they're about endgame. First of all, you want to avoid tarping directly in the middle of moving zones. Stick to an edge of storm so that you can't get pressured from all sides, and you probably get to save mats because you don't have to build on the side that has storm. Arip talked about this in his no longer a noob video, but it's also something I've mentioned multiple times on this channel in past videos as well. Every single pro team tries to do this at some point, and it's literally game changing. So let me tell you what I noticed about players like Jeez, right? Novice players that I'm opening under, I'm opening under. They don't they don't understand edge zones. They tarp in the middle, and that's one of the worst things you can do is tarp in the middle. Because then you can get straight from your left, your right, your top, and your bottom. That's every direction. So let's say you're tarping on low ground on the edge. You can only get straight from the top and from in front of you. There's no like, and there's a lot of players that are like this. You can rest, you can there's rest. no zone theory. Look, look, look. No, no, the reason he's zone. getting sprayed from every layer, and you gotta understand this, is not because of bad luck. He's getting sprayed by from every layer because of bad positioning. And you guys might think like positioning only matters in in mid game, and no, positioning in end game is a thing. And you have to stop blaming bad luck. This next tip is super specific to this FNCS. So, for some reason, no one actually blocks or watches their backs in tarps anymore. Even if you have a full metal tarp, people will still break in, so you have to block your back constantly or at least be aware and keep watch for it. I've actually seen so many teams lose out this time on good endgames because they just get triple sprayed from inside their own tarp. This might seem like kind of an obvious point, like, yeah, like obviously you have to be blocking your back, but I've just seen way too many people die to this, this FNCS specifically, and I'm not sure what's going on. Moving on, my next tip is that at least one of your trio needs to have their shotgun out if you're breaking through old builds or if you're stuck in a congested area. Already having a spaz out can literally be the difference between losing a game and getting a fat refresh, so make sure at least one person is ready to fight like instantly shoot at all times. Again, this seems obvious but I've seen a lot of people make this mistake. Last but not least is to make sure you don't make solo plays if you have teammates alive. I've talked about this before, but having two guns shooting and people playing together is way better obviously than having just one. And I'm not talking about, you know, opening up your tarp and spraying low ground to try and get elim points, but I'm talking about getting a refresh. If you're gonna jump in a box or edit on a player or drop somebody down, make sure your teammates are with you and ready for it. Even if they're too far or you think you can do it yourself, make sure you calm and let them know so that they can at least expect the outcomes. That's it for the video guys, make sure you go follow my TikTok and let me know if you did on Twitter so I can follow you back. Leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'm going to be experimenting with some different like arena and more content style videos outside of just tips and tricks as well, so I guess we'll see how that goes. Obviously use code Jedi2x in the Fortnite item shop to support me if you'd like. Thanks for watching guys and peace.